Hello everyone, my name is Maria Carriel and I am a college student and hopefully I'm also a good storyteller because I have a story for you guys today. And the name of that story is The Mitten and it goes like this. So it was the coldest day of winter and there was this little boy picking up wood in the forest. His grandma, while knitting him a new pair of mittens, had told him to do so. After all, a good fire will keep them warm, right? Therefore, he worked all morning, and once he thought he had gathered enough wood, he decided to head back home. Oh, but this boy, like he did not notice that he was leaving one of his mittens behind. A very silly thing to do if you ask me. If it was the coldest day of winter, after all. Anyhow, and a little mouse that was nearby saw the mitten and she was very cold and the mitten looked warm and cozy so she just popped right into it as it was the perfect size for a mouse and as the mouse had settled in a frog saw the mitten the frog stood in front of the mitten and asked hey is there anyone home and of course, the mouse just had to say, just me, coming before you freeze. And so now, as those two were settling in, an owl saw the mitten. And the owl asked the mouse and the frog if he could go in as well. Now, the mouse was very wary about letting the owl in. She, she was nervous. Owls make her nervous. So she thought and thought and eventually said, okay, listen, I'll let you in as long as you don't treat me as a snack, okay? And the owl ended up saying that he will behave and therefore he got into the mitten. And as those three were settling in, a rabbit showed up in front of the mitten and he wanted to go in as well. So he asked the mouse, the frog, and the owl if there was any space for him. They said that there was not much room left, but they could manage, and therefore they let the rabbit in. And as if things were not bad enough already, a fox showed up. She was standing in front of the midden and she wanted to come in. And without really much care in the world, she just popped right into it. And now, our poor little mouse was thinking that maybe being this generous was not a great idea after all. But what else could have she done? It was the coldest day of winter after all. And then, as everyone was selling into the mitten, a big gray wolf showed up. And he wanted to get into the mitten. And the mouse said, uh, I don't think we have much room left but he just got in there. And so now the mitten was like stretching out, the seams were almost to the point of popping, but hey, at least the mitten was still warm, right? And so as if things could not get any worse, all of the animals heard snorting and they were like, uh? <laughs> and they noticed that they had a boar standing in front of them and he wanted to go in into the mitten and he asked hey is there any room for me and the mouse said uh i don't think we have any room left and then he just said i will be very careful and so very carefully he got himself into the mitten and the poor mitten the seams were popping like it was overstretched but hey, it was a really good mitten. It was still holding up. Uh, and so the animals finally thought, okay, this is it, the boar, the last animal, great. But now a bear was standing in front of them. A big, angry, and cold bear wanted to go into the mitten. And now inside the mitten, up until this point, we have a mouse, a frog, an owl, a rabbit. Uh, <laughs> we have the wolf, we have the boar. 
how how could this be there's just no space for the bear so all of the animals yell no room no room and the bear he got upset and he said no room nonsense and therefore he started to get into the mitten one paw at a time and he got in there and so while all of this was going on there was this little tiny cricket looking at everything that was happening from afar she was very old and her little legs could not creak anymore because it was just so cold so she thought hmm I mean, little old me can for sure get into the mitten. So she decided to approach all of the animals and just get in there. But that was the last straw. That was it for the mitten. The mitten was done with all of this abuse. As soon as the little cricket got in, the mitten popped into a whole bunch of pieces and all of the animals were popped right back into the snow. <laughs> And it was here when the little boy noticed he was missing one of his mittens. And he was already halfway home. But he figured out he might as well go back to see if it was there. And so once he got there, though, he was blown away. Because he couldn't find his mitten. But he did see a whole bunch of little pieces of what used to be his mitten. He even saw a little mouse with a piece of it on top of her head. With this, the kid looked around and thought about his situation. And he came to the conclusion of, well, his grandma was already making him new mittens. So he might as well just go back home. So he put his unprotected hand into his coat and then he hurried back home. Once he got there, he was received with a new pair of mittens. And as long as he did not lose them, his hands will never be cold again. So that's the story. I hope you guys liked it. It's one of my favorites. Please don't lose your mittens and have a nice rest of your day.